Let's begin with an overview of the Designer Plus software. First, go to the File menu in the upper left corner. From here, we can periodically save our work. Or, use the keyboard shortcuts of Control S on the PC or Command S on the Mac. As we see on the File menu, keyboard shortcuts will be available throughout the software to speed up our workflow. There is an option to pre-flight our project. By selecting this option, the software will check the quality of our files, make sure all image nodes are filled, and the order is ready before uploading to Millers. In addition, proofs of our project can be created. And we can order our album from here as well. From the Edit menu, we can undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete, select all, all the options we would expect from the Edit menu. From the Insert menu, we can insert a picture box or image node as a rectangle, an oval, or polygon. We can add a shape to our layout as a rectangle, oval, polygon, or a line. And finally, we can insert a text box onto our design to add another element to our project. From the Page menu, we can duplicate a page and add a page to the layout. A special note when adding pages with the Add option. Pages are added to the album in multiples of 10 single pages or 5 two-page spreads. At any point during the design phase, we can select a Rearrange Pages option from here. We can also quickly move to the first, last, next, and previous pages of our layout. Again, please note the keyboard shortcuts for these options. Clicking the View option, we can choose to show or hide various options in the software. We can show rulers, use guides, and add grids to the software. In addition, we can zoom in, zoom out, and preview our project. Next is the Page Layout section of the program. At the top center, we have our current page layouts in the project. Our first two page spread, page 1 and page 2, then pages 3 and 4, and so on. Scroll to the end of our 10th two page spread, or pages 19 and 20, of our starting layout. Below the page layout is a toolbar. On the toolbar, we have the undo and redo icons. Use these icons to undo or redo changes in our project. Periodically, save our work by clicking the floppy disk icon. We can add picture boxes and text boxes to our project by clicking these icons. Once we start our project, we can change the type of album in the middle of our process by clicking the Change Product button here. We have the ability to zoom out, zoom in, and go to the next or previous pages in our layout by clicking on these icons. We can preview our design by clicking the icon with a green circle and white triangle. And finally, on the right side of the toolbar, we have the shopping cart icon. Once our project is ready to be ordered, click the shopping cart icon to select final options and upload the order to Millers. The next section is the main design area. This is where we will design and lay out our project, crop our photos, and customize each page for the album. At the bottom, we have several tabs we can work with. The Page Styles tab is where the templates for our project are located. Simply drag and drop a page style onto our album layout to begin designing our custom project. As we scroll the page styles, there are numerous templates we can choose for the project. In addition to the standard templates, we have the option to create our own templates as well. Go to the right side of the Page Styles tab. Here we will find a gear icon. Click the gear icon, then choose a category from the pop-up menu. From the menu is a list of categories we can view and select predefined templates for our project. Click on the baby category to view several templates for this type of project. There are other categories we can select, such as the Modern Layouts category. The templates here are the first layouts shown earlier. These templates are mainly two-page spreads with numerous design configurations. The last two options include pre-designed templates for high school senior project or a wedding album. As noted before, we can save a custom layout as a new template for reuse on another page or another album. Below the category are options to save the page design as a new template. Click a new page style option, name the layout, and choose a category to save the new template. 
We can even create our own categories such as favorites. Next is the Mask tab. Here we have a number of masks to drag and drop on our images to add a different look to our final result. Click the Backgrounds tab. From here, numerous backgrounds can be selected and dropped onto our project pages. As with the page styles, the backgrounds are sorted into categories for ease of use. And again, as with the page styles, we can add our own backgrounds to the program. Click the Add option, navigate to the background file location, and select the photo. The background will be added to the software for our use later on. The Frames tab allows us to add frames around the image nodes or picture boxes in our project. And finally, the Scrapbook tab. From here, we can drag and drop scrapbook items to further enhance our custom layout. Next, go to the upper right corner of the software where we will find several tabs we can use for our album design. From the first tab, we can modify the shapes, sides, corners, and opacities of our image nodes. In addition, we can add borders and drop shadows to our layouts as we will demonstrate in the next movie in this series. The next tab is where we can modify the image nodes themselves. We can rotate the images and flip the photos vertically or horizontally. In the picture enhancement area, from the mode pull down menu, we can convert an image to a black and white or to a sepia tone. We can also further customize an image by adding a vignette around the photo. The third tab is a text tab. From this tab, we can choose a font, the text style, and the size of text we've added to our layout. Other options include the ability to change the opacity, the color of our text, we can outline and choose alignment options for our text as well. Next is the Measurements tab. Here we can position an image node into an exact XY location onto our layout. We can specify the exact width and height, offset, scale, and rotation. The last tab allows us to modify the background colors of our pages. Select a particular color for the background or select the other option to custom mix a color.